Today I'm going to be covering how to calculate income showing on your leave and earnings statement, otherwise known as an LES. Hi guys, my name is Glenn Groves. I'm located in Sonoma County, California. I've been with Vetted VA since May of 2019. Today I'm going to be covering how to calculate income showing on your leave and earnings statement, otherwise known as an LES. You want to understand what income can be counted and what factors will affect this qualifiable income. You need to understand that income is only one piece of a multi-piece puzzle for overall qualification. All right, guys, what I want to do here is I want to dissect an LES for you in order to show you exactly how you yourself or a lender is going to be taking a look at your income in order to determine what all can be used for qualifiable income. Now, a lot of numbers, a lot of information here on an LES. The main things I want you to focus on at this point are the entitlement box over here in the upper left hand corner as well as the paid data line here which it runs horizontally across the LES. The most important things that we're looking at when determining qualifiable income is number one base pay and number two is BAH. On this paid data line here we're looking at is this a single person or do they have dependents? It will affect the amount of BAH being paid to the service member. Now the most critical part of this pay line is the zip code of where the BAH is being calculated from. If this service member is going to be PCSing from one duty station to another, this zip code obviously could change. For example, somebody could be transferring from the East Coast to the West Coast or vice versa, and it could completely change the amount of BAH currently showing on the LES versus what it is going to be. This can trip up a qualification and you need to triple check that the zip code is the correct for the future duty station if we're dealing with a active duty service member that is PCSing. Other items, base pay, pretty self-explanatory. This is gonna be driven off of time and service as well as the pay grade. BAS, also you know, basic allowance for substance. This can be counted for income qualification purposes. And then something you don't see on this uh, specific example of, a, of an LES are other allowances such as sea pay, combat pay, flight pay. Now, you can count those towards qualifiable income, but you're going to be opening a little bit of a can of worms with a specific lender where they may ask to see that that is gonna be continued to, um, to be received, okay? So normally, lenders are going off of base pay, BAS, and BAH because those are going to be consistent and are not questioned by lenders that they will be continued to receive. For this specific example of an LES, it's very simple that the total amount is being added up here, and this is what a lender would use for the qualifiable income. Now, by looking at your own LES, you should be able to tell what you could use as qualifiable income, what may be questioned in the future, and finally, what one of the most often missed items on an LES could lead to an incorrect calculation of income. Thank you so much for watching.